Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I've been really in love with Defect Reroll. I can go here and tell you that I got Astrolabe and I want to show you the beauty of Scrape when you get it early. No, no, I really wanted to show you the stupid Hologram Infinite. You guys have seen it before, but it, you know, sometimes it's fun to revisit it. So sit back, enjoy, watch me go infinite. I'm about to play out of my mind, okay? To make up for my transgressions. Reroll, let's go. What are you guys predicting? I want to, uh, predicting the Sneko Echo, yes or no? Oh, my favorite. I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet, but there is an Astrally Reprogram deck that I just did. I can get rid of the Zap. Astrally is so good. So good. We got a Buffer Plus, a Melter, and a Bullseye. We had. Oh my god. Alright, uh, let's go for Elites. Sparkle, Sparkle. Three Elites. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Fucking love it. Let's go. And we get some events. I love it. No, but guys, the reroll that I had, so the reroll that I had last time was freaking reprogram into like uh, Chaos Plus, so I had energy for days. The melt is actually so good early. Cold snap or charge battery? Or claw? Cold snap. Oh, we can give up the buffer for max HP. Or we can say no more strikes. Who needs him? So this applies lock on, which means um, darkness is always going to target the lock on target, right? No, no, that doesn't have how it works. Sorry, lock, lock on just makes the, the thing take more damage from uh, orbs. Drop a defend. I'm thinking of dropping a strike. I already have. I guess we have buffer, so we don't need that. That's beautiful. Lock just makes him take twice as much damage, but that's basically it. Remove or upgrade. We can transform a strike. This would be the run of transforming. We transform three to begin with, we transform again. Unless you guys really want to upgrade the street from beam. I kind of want to transform again, just in the spirit of things. But upgrading street from beam isn't bad. Let's try one more strike. Let's go. What do we got? Alright. So no more strikes in the deck. Got a horn cleat. Love it. Do I have the damage to kill this uh, Grumman knob? Yeah, the branch is going to be a little bit awkward because I don't have orbs to begin with. Sheep is, sheep, sheep and beam is better here. This, this full block. Barrage is going to be decent damage once I get some more orb stuff going on. So buffers here. The problem is I really want to block with one cleat. I guess I could do buffer and just... Ah, that's a bad use of buffer. It's not a good use of buffer. Later on, buffer can do... so much more. Buffer's gonna block tw 24 in this fight. I just gotta redraw it. My deck's small enough, I should get there. So we really wanna do zap, because zap gets barrage going. But we wanna do melter, because melter is a lot of fucking damage. But Zap gets Barrage perfectly going. But so does Cold Snap. I'd rather have Cold Snap. Alright. The fight should be over now. Because now we have Buffer. Buffer and Barrage. Perfect. Perfect. Not, not a very good use of Buffer damage. But whatever. Get to save the Buffer. Look at that. Preser preservation. It's huge. Now we use the buffer. Which is unfortunate, but because the sentry's gonna attack me. Unless I get lucky. Which by the way, I could get lucky if I let's see what this hits. Holy. Holy guys. Holy. We're here. We are here. I, Ash Leap start has to be my favorite start in the game now. Has to be my favorite start in the game. Both my defect runs have been just the beginning. Of the, the beginning of actually was so intoxicating, and there's hyper beam back again, which is awkward because we want to go a focus related route, but hyper beam is just really good AOE. I don't have to do it against the boss, but it helps a lot with these next couple fights. Or we can do genetic algorithm. Start scaling this early. We have dead branch. 
Take the algorithm and start scaling it now. Genetic alg hybrid is hybrid is so good though for these next couple of elites. On the ironclad, no, I don't think it's good on the ironclad, but I've been liking the defect. Hyper's really good here, guys. Because the whole point is just dominate the spire. You think your our decks are fine against the elite anyways? If you think you're fine against the elite anyways, you take the scaling? Okay, I get it. You, you want to be ultimate greedster. And I get it. You want to greed so much, you even want to upgrade this. But that's a little bit too much, isn't it? Upgrading this when we have to fight Grumman Knob and stuff? That's a little crazy. Fuck it. But we're crazy. Blue Candle. Blue Candle could be Necronomicur stuff. Blue Candle could also be Unceasing Tap stuff. So if I have Blue Candle, Unceasing Tap doesn't affect me. Other than that, I think we just skip the Blue Candle. Because there's too many niche things that I don't currently have. All right, we have the buffer now. But I really want to play the Barrage for damage. I got the Doom and Gloom, which is huge. I fucking love that. Okay, Bullseye as well. I don't think I'm going to actually be able to get the genetic and play this, this fight. So the upgrade's a little bit awkward. Maybe I can. Wait, maybe I can. Wait a minute. So, genetic here would play really well. The problem is I have lethal. This is 18, okay, 18 plus four. So we're at 22 damage. 22 plus six. I forgot buffers two charges. Wait, the first one didn't get hit. Wait, the buff, the first buffer didn't get hit. Holy shit, that's OP. I thought I had was taking damage here. Oh my god, what? Buffer's broken. Buffer with the horn cleat. I love it, I love it. Oh, now we got Omomori. We have Sunder or an aggregate. I'll take the Sunder. Oh, I love it, I love it. Oh, but I want to skill genetic. See, that Melter was tricky. It almost had me too. And Debrich is giving me nice cards. We love that. Beautiful. Oh my god. We have the scaling. Everything's happening. Is it ever consume? Consume makes Barrage sad, but consume makes the, the cold snap happy. Just skip? Or you like auto shields? Auto shields is some block. We don't really have that much block. I'll take the auto shields. Auto shields is bad on turn two of Horn Cleat. We have double sunder right now. Should I waste my duplication pot like that? Why not? I mean, it's, it is a waste because I can use, I can save it for the boss. It is a waste, but it's okay. It's a waste because I can save it for the boss, and I could I, I, I don't I mean I'm so strong I can save that for like all the way to link him honestly. We get our we get our melt we get our genetic and we get our um buffer out. I love it. Love everything about it. Love everything about it. Ooh. Although I kinda wanna take damage just to get cold snap out. No, this fight's over. It's one of those things you don't really have to overthink anything. Sunder just wins here, so we're good. We have more buffers. My god, this runs out of control. More cold snaps, so we have frost for days. Also helps the barrage always play. And then this kind of leads into a focus run. Or do you guys say, nah, no thank you. No thank you. I like the second cold snap, because then if all, now this is actually a focus deck. We get some focus in the shop here, and boom.
Oh, that's a big sunder, but hmm. Hmm. I wish I had more energy. Oh, I have to upgrade the sunder, don't I? Multicast. Damn. Yeah, we're good. We got rid of all our strikes, but now we have two cold snaps in the deck, so that's really good. Perfect block. Gotta redraw to Sunder, please. Bullseye. Yeah, this deck's so strong. I love it. Oh my god. You were a bachelor because you feel like king of the world. So good, so good. Attack pot, reprogram. So reprogram would be sick if I wasn't really doing frost related things, which I currently am, focus related things. So let's see if we get a focus relic. We get a motion chip which you can't purchase. What about abacus? Is our deck small enough for abacus? It kind of is. So now we have block with abacus, block with hornkley, and block with genetic, and our block game is solved. And sometimes this helps me preserve the buffer. Or you could save for another shot, but I think Abacus is just good enough, personally. That I like taking it and removing. So what are you gonna remove? Well, I like the zap because zap makes barrage actually do something. So I can remove a defense. And now the deck is really tiny. Auto shields and frost and 15 card deck with Abacus. You'd save. What about Doom Gloom for Act 2? Because it's an AoE. Yeah, Otters is trying to get worse and worse because it already has Horn Cleat and now it has Abacus, so Otters is getting worse and worse. Okay. Uh, we're upgrading the Sunder now. Should we Power Pot? Because what else are we using Power Pot, right? Let's Power Pot for this fight, see what we get. We got Loop. We got Machine Learning. I like Loop. Loop makes Auto Shield completely unplayable, but we have Lock On. Now we have Lock On Zap stuff. Oh, not my Sunder. I should, I should probably also strength by this fight as well. Hey, look, genetics here. Defrag's here. Ooh, we're defragging the deck now. Ooh, we have defragging the deck with Frost. Perfect. I was like, I don't have I don't have focus on my deck. And then I realized, wait a minute. I've got Dead Branch. Dead Branch is all my focus I need. It's also, it's also bloating my deck a little bit. That's fine. If this is my first buffer, am I happy? Not really. I don't like this to be my first buffer. I'd rather just not buffer at all. Auto shield, defrag, into cold snap. Or does zap? Ah, GG. Alright, so now we have Frost on loop. <laughs> so Auto Show is always completely useless. We can probably remove Auto Show out of our life soon. For sure. Buffers played, GG. Gorgeous. Melter. Melter, lethal baby. More buffer or all for one? Um, is this more buffer or just pass? What do you guys think? I mean, in the world of this, it looks like it's more buffer. But I'm also content with just passing. Fuck it, more buffer. All right, Slaver's Caller, Nuclear Battery, or Philosopher's Stone. I like the battery because the battery says Barrage is less use, uh, less useless immediately. And the battery allows us to do like dual cast stuff. Um, other than that, the Slaver's Caller doesn't look bad either. As well, because then I just have 
four energy guaranteed always against uh, elites, which is what I want to focus on. Because the battery, the problem with battery is that, yes, I can do recursion to preserve it, but I don't like the fact that when it comes down to long fights, I won't have the third energy. I won't have the fourth energy. And I think having the fourth energy is nice. And I think hallway fights are not that problematic because our deck's so strong that we're not worried about hallway fights. I'm taking the caller. I just like guaranteed. I mean, I guess battery has other things going for it. First, it makes the hallway fights less bad like with barrage and just having energy. Plus, it also makes certain cards like recursion viable. I'm going to go for three elites, though. Three elites, let's go. It's worth noting that I have um, I have a little more issue. These events are not that bad. Sender is kind of awkward in this fight. This fight is gonna. I, I might take some damage, but it's fine. The point is. Uh, so there's auto shield doing this thing. Uh, let's draw this first. See what we get. Okay, not bad. That was a lot of damage we're doing to me. Jesus. Buffer's also very bad in this fight. That's that's for sure. So Lockin doesn't make those things target, right? Yeah, unfortunate. Damn. Probably the hardest fight in the beginning of this, this whole run. I'll just take a big chunk in all the way down to 40 something. Who cares? It is what it is. Fire pot. Why are they giving me fire pot? Defrag. There's a defrag. Of course, I want the skim, but the defrag is really good because we are going very orb focused. But to remove a card, like, what's the last card we're going to remove? Well, now the deck is. Uh, I guess we can just remove defend and say, you know what? We'd rather just block with our orbs. Got a lantern. That's good for the hallway part energies. Oh, remove the auto shields. That's right. Just get rid of auto shields. That card is trash, isn't it? It's a good call. Auto shields plays really poorly in this deck. That's for sure. Cool headed versus another. Just playing defrag now. Well, either way you look at it, we're losing the freaking buffer. Get another buffer. All has been well, man. What's up? How, how's your chest journey been? I know you've been going crazy with the chest journey. Melter. From now I have, now I do too much frost things. Like I block a lot with frost. My deck is tiny. Abacus stuff. Oof, love it. Defrag plus. Holy! In a span of two fights, we have two defrags. Hello. You been working a lot. What does this deck want? Does this deck want a defrags? And what do we got? Both defrags. Unfortunately, we're taking damage. I guess I could have done buffer to prevent all the damage. Oh no, I take no damage. No, I didn't play the upgraded buffer. Whoopsies. Okay, we're at 39 HP. That's nothing. It's a flesh wound. Cool headed. So now, now all our block. Actually, right, so we have Fission. Now, Fission's a good upgrade. Fission's a very good upgrade, but Cool Headed is... Our, that's it. We have Frost for days. Now, I gotta hope that I have damage. Well, we do have a Zap in the ba uh, Barrage. And in these fights, we're gonna have... Um, energy. I like Fission as an upgrade. Because we, we can make we can remake our Frost so, so easily. But Cool Headed is a premium card. 
Cool head is a premium card for sure. But I'm gonna take a fish in here. Alright. I'll use strength bar for this fight. This guy's trying to kill me. This guy's trying to kill me. Get the zap or get the cast. Cast could be anything. Could even be okay. I think I prefer zap for damage, but whatever. All right, time to move out of shields. Skip campfire? Nah, 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 because I'm going for three elites. So the campfire is just on the left. It's just a different campfire than the one you're expecting. Uh, this is gonna be painful, but I think we gotta do super beam just to kind of get these guys down. So yeah, I'll do it. Beautiful. Look for Blizzard for damage? Yeah, you know, it might be the play. Alright. So we got perfect block. The problem is our damage is lacking. There's the barrage. We need that in our life. There's the bullseye. Bullseye is not good if I don't have orbs. These things, these gremlins don't stop attacking me. I hate that. Got a meter strike. Wait a minute. Why is KSM only giving me... Giving me frost? I want it to give me a dark orb. I want some some damage in my life. Fission is so bad here. Because Fission normally would be incredible in this turn. Fission would block a shit ton. Unfortunately, Fission is not blocking a shit ton right now. This is not what I would quantify as a shit ton. Alright, GG. Not bad. Fight was pretty easy. We took no damage. Uh, for all my complaining, we took zero damage. For all my complaining, we took zero damage. Double genetic. Genetic scale again. And remember, it has dead branch. And this is not too late to scale a second genetic, is it? But that, oh, it's only increasing my block gain, but we really want to increase our damage. And how do we increase damage? I think a dark group can go a long way. A dark group can go a long way. I mean, I could probably afford a scaling a second genetic though. Right, let's upgrade this fission so it's not completely useless. And then the next upgrade should be the, uh, the defrag. Ouch, I'm getting pummeled here. I don't want to get two wounds. Two wounds would be too much. All right. We get the zap. And the cold snaps. Although, I guess I could fission now. I don't want to waste genetic right now. Uh, okay, so we're good. Auto shows is so trash. But you guys called it, I know. It's gotta go. Honestly, okay, we got the Echo Form, that's sick. Echo Form Genetic, you can't ask for a better turn than that. I guess I could've waited. So if Echo Form is in my deck, okay, then I can get damage out of nowhere. Although here's here, I wanna go for damage, but at the same time, I don't wanna get my ass kicked. So how do we rectify this? Because we're taking lots of damage here. Unless you guys think I have lethal, which is going to be 36, 47. It's not enough. 47, 47 plus 16, 63, 63 plus 9, 72. 72, 72 plus potion is 92, 92 plus 92 plus I need 11 damage from now. Uh, 
All right. Get more damage than I want to take. All right, we'll figure this out. We got Vajra, now we have damage. Okay, we have Recycle. Recycle Dead Branch, though. How about that? Recycle or start doing Dead Branch randomly. So what are we recycling in this deck? Most of, most, okay, we get rid of this auto shield for, for one. And we just start embracing Dead Branch. Let's do it. Dead or Needle? Okay, our block game has been solved yesterday. And then the day before. We don't need defense in our life. That's perfect for Recycle Target. Oh, I like that. Genetic now? I can always get into a hologram, right? If I get a hologram, then the hologram can bring that genetic for when I actually need it. Perfect Sunder. Love that. Fission's not often getting played. In fact, did I even use Fission last fight? Look at that. Full block with buffer, and I got both my deep frags out. Look at that. Wait, I didn't get my genetic out though. One second. Oh, there's another genetic. I need to get my. Right, where's my genetic? There it is. Health repair. Okay, boom. Now we have sustain. We could upgrade the self repair for sustain. That's quite nice. Or upgrade the defrag. I can even upgrade the recycling. I'm going to upgrade the defrag. Now we have everything we want in our life. Self repair would have been good sustain here. But I didn't expect this. I must admit, I did not expect this. Uh, this is awkward because then it's going to ruin that buffer because this guy attacks first. This guy attacks first. Unless I kill this motherfucker. I guess that, that potion's pretty good for the the heart. I mean, for the freaking next elite, but this allows me to give myself a repair and my buffer out happily. Okay. And now, boom. It's 1v1. 1v1's easy. My potion drop, it's a little bit sad, but auto sword finally plays. Unbelievable. It's about time. All right, GG. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get genetic out. Buffers for days. Look at that. We're never taking damage. We're also never doing damage. It only seems that way because we only have three energy for hallway fights. But once we add hallway fights, we're in good shape. So boom, self repair. Nice. So Blizzard, you guys unironically want Blizzard? Deals damage equal to two times the number of frost orbs to all enemies. It's also AOE. Is this a Blizzard deck? I know we were memeing, but it could be our damage. Or you could take the freaking Doom and Gloom. Doom and Gloom is also damage because it has a dark orb on it. And that's a little bit more reliable against the collector, isn't it? Cool head is nice. I'm looking at the Doom and Gloom for damage. Damn, I tried. Got the bullseye. We have genetic in our thing. Sunder, unfortunately. Sunder's a really good thing to get later on. Got our buffer. Ooh, we can do our fission. Who wants to do fission? Just so I can get all this crap out. Yes, fission so we can get all this crap out. How about that? How does that sound? Like, for instance, get rid of this auto shield, for instance. And get our self repair out as well. It adds a burn, but who cares? We get everything out. Alright, everything's beautifully placed and in order. And now we go for the kill. Yeah, it's a little slow, but whatever.
Deck's nice and tiny. We have drawn um ooh, we got a genetic, we got the Doom and Gloom. This is good. Genetic is a good start. I really like Doom and Gloom for this deck. It really adds a lot to the deck. I really like Doom and Gloom for this deck. Mouth is pretty good. We can get rid of the buffer. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Alright. And now we have dual cast things. Or just lethal. Man, self repair is going to start healing us like crazy. We never have to rest again in our life. Because self repair is. Oh my god, we all even have a. Oh my goodness! And we have a bias cog. Now, bias cog seems bad now, but once I get one artifact to my deck. So, bias cog is bad now. Just because. Okay, it's good for hallway fights, don't get me wrong. But we already have two, two green defrags. So, bias cog is a little. Bias cog is a little crazy. You think Blizzard's on par with Corpse Cruise and Dreadline Field still understand his beauty? I mean, bias is a little bit weird just because I'm not playing in the whole. I'm not playing in this um, collection, but I think I like having it in the deck. I do like having it in the deck. Okay. We can kill this just barely, not really. I. Alright. Well, that changes things. I was going to do Sunder, but then I realized it's not going to die anyways. And I'd rather have a Dark Orb out and play. By the way, Melter just ruins this fight for this guy. So this fight is triggered by Melter. So this guy our genetic, our self-repair, and then there's Melter. There's genetic. Where's my self-repair? Self-repair's coming. I can even go Fission and draw to self-repair now, right? If it hits Melter first, we're sad. So how about we just wait? We have a bigger chance of getting self repair and Melter uh, together. Gorgeous. Alright, do you guys want to go for the edge? Or you want no double recycle? Double recycle, dead branch, and dead branch, take the wheel? Or is my first weekend my only weekend? First and only weekend. Or dead branch, take the wheel. The first second wheel is fun, but I'm not sure if I like it. I like having guaranteed weakened in my deck. How does that sound? Although, it feels like it's a bad draw most of the time. You can get weakened from Dead Branch, but what about having a, a guaranteed weakened in your deck? I think Fear Pot is better because Scopa doesn't do enough, whereas Fear Pot actually allows me to go for the kill when I need it. What does Scopa do for me? Aren't we like already rolling? Yeah, I need more draw, that's the thing. Once I get draw, it's good. That I agree with. So is 42 life enough? Well, I want to upgrade the Doom and Gloom. I think it should be enough. Should be enough, 42 life. I think our deck is pretty strong, is it not? I want to make sure that I have Recycle. Recycle seems like a decent upgrade. It's like an energy, that's like card draw from the, from the ether. It's card draw from the ether. I kind of like Recycle Plus. Just taking card draw from the ethos. Although this is pretty good for good super cycle plus. Let's go. We got our genetic now. I mean we got we got everything we got genetic and bias now, but I don't want to play any of these. Wait, genetic now is really bad. Bias now is really bad. This whole hand is really bad. We even got a Doom and Gloom, which is our only AoE for damn, Jesus. This is a bad turn one. Um, I don't, I'm not playing Bias now ever. I kind of put it in my deck as a curse. We could Fission now. We could dual cast the Dark Orb now just to kind of kill one of the minions. What's the point of killing one of the minions now? Well, you kill the minions now because you don't have a way to really manage them later on. Or you can nurse the Dark Orb for the rest of the time. So what you can say is... I can kill these torch heads with Sunder, and I'm nursing this Dark Orb so I have the damage for the Collector. Which I kind of like that idea as well. 
just kill these things with basic attacks or whatever. And then Sunder the other one. And nurse this Dark Orb all the way until it's basically lethal. And we finish it off with like Fear Pots and Flex Pots. Or the alternative is to just do Dual Cast now. And also Fission now, just to get it out of the way. The reason why you want to Fission now is yes, later on it'll be worth more, but right now it can help you set up. It helps you get your defrags out. So this also seems like a decent time to get Fission out of the way. Who wants to who wants to nurse Dark Orb? Who wants to kill the minions now? I'm gonna have to cycle the orbs before I get to the next uh, cycle because I'm gonna do things like cold snaps. I only have one cold snap though. I do have to play that cold snap though, don't I? I do have to play that cold snap, don't I? Buffer now? We already have one buffer, so... Holy, how perfect is that? How fucking perfect is that? So when do we start going for the... Uh, yeah, you're right. So when do we start going for the Fear Pot? Now? Oh my god, what is this? What is this crap? Fear Pot now? Yeah, what is this? We still haven't played our buffers though. And do I even have to be fear pot? I gotta re put the dark one, but the problem is. I'm not sure if more fear pot actually helps, because I, I don't have that much damage coming up. I'm gonna have to be focused on. Fuck it. That was a big waste of energy. I need cards real badly. The multi is really good, because that means I can do a big multi dark orb. There's the dark orb. Kinda wanna have the frost orb in the um the front. Personally. I can also do bias now. If I do bias now, it's just positive right now. And the fight's not gonna last that much longer. So I think we just do bias now. Cause how much longer is the fight gonna last? Not much longer. We're gonna be end up doing dark orb. And all this bias is gonna make the dark orb massive. And we have genetics and buffers and all this stuff we can still draw. So does the thing does the fight last longer than four turns? Not likely when this guy's already at two hundred. Take no damage here. Uh, I can do fission now because fission now is good. I take advantage of the, the vulnerable. But the problem with fission now is it ruins the dark orb. So it's kind of tough. Fission now because the guy's vulnerable. But the Dark Orb. We have Buffer. Get rid of his stupid defense. Who cares about them? Tempest is very good. Tempest allows me to cycle my Dark Orb to the front. It's very good. Very good. Perfect. Dark Orbs were exactly where I want it to be. I can have multicast or dual cast. Or I can just go push it now. So this when he uses the buff, that means she, he that means she's not summoning, right? She only summons with the question marks. So this means she's not summoning. I could just fission now, but if she's not summoning, then I'm just no rush because I have multicast and dual cast in the deck, and I still have buffer and GG. No damage to taking that fight. Mother bias, rainbow or reboot. I like reboot. Reboot gives me. I like Reboot because what is this deck lacking? Card draw. And Reboot draws five cards. Four from the randomly. And it also gives me 
Um, a card from the Dud Branch. I like Reboot. This deck needs card draw. Copper Tripper, we never have to rest again. That sounds great. I love it. Or Black Star. How many elites are we going to fight to make Black Star worth it? We're taking the Coffee Tripper. And now we have Card Draw Centennial. Card Draw, which Centennial is hard to get because we have Helix and Buffers. But we have 5 Energy. We have Reboot for Card Draw. And we have Fission for Card Draw sometimes. The deck's gotten really good. Pick up some Skims. GG. I want to look for Mind Bloom. We have Omamori. So Omamori and Mind Bloom will be sick. And look at this path. It's Omamori Fodder and four Elites. Holy shit. Look at this path, guys. If I get Mind Bloom, this is the best run I've ever had in my life. If I get Mind Bloom, this is the best run I've ever had in my life. Bar none. Bar none. Maybe some, but... I like Recycle gets rid of Auto Shirts, which I like. Got Fusion for more energy. That's nice. Very nice, very nice. It's Fusion now. So I can get this guy out of my life. Because you want to kill this guy, right? Genetic and peace. Bye. This run's really powerful. This run's really powerful. Bye. All right, more events. No mind bloom, but we get a heal or madness. Now, what is it? What do you guys think about madness? Madness says random dead branch cards. Do we like that? Do we like random dead branch cards? Not necessarily. Kind of like the way my deck is by itself, but Recycle can manage it. Fuck it. It's like card draw. We're gonna have excess energy, so it's sort of like card draw. No way that event's terrible. I still believe in Mind Bloom though, it's gonna happen. I might as well genetic now because this fight is never gonna go for the redraw, is it? And I'd rather just scale it. Eh, you never know, I might get a random hologram. It might be necessary. We lose one buffer, no big deal. I see what we got. All right. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We can preserve this buffer. All right, we have four buffers now. Not bad. Unfortunately, close up was my frost, which I kind of need. Get bias cog. Fuck it. The problem is I need to um, <laughs> draw cards. Huh. This is sad. I guess this is what buffer's for, though, right? Isn't this the point of buffer? Take all this damage. Blizzard's arrived. Look at it. Is, is Blizzard retroactive? It is, isn't it? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to redraw this. I don't think. Although I don't actually get that much damage now that I think about it. This is not that great. These guys are angry, huh? These guys are angry. Okay, genetic has been scaled. Loop. Is loop good? Loop allows us for beat of death, right? 
And we're going to have a lot of buffers for the heart, so we need loop for beat of death. All right, and now we have loop for beat of death, and we're happy. I think the deck's pretty much... We just got to get some cards, and we're pretty good. Deck is looking pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get scale genetic again. It's, I keep getting a turn one. I don't know why. I'm not sure why that's happening to me. I'm going to self-repair. Fuck, I need holograms. There's a lot of good cards I'm getting turn one that I don't want to be wasting. Unless I have calipers, of course. See what we draw. Got the core search, which is nice. Okay. So repair and we're done. Look for self repair and we're done. Still waiting for self repair. The deck should be small, but you know. These things happen. All right, GG. There's self repair number two. Do we need more sustain? We're good in sustain. Do we want aggregate? No, we want card draw is what we want. So ancient pot, probably better than this. Ancient pot can go all the way to the heart. I might even ancient pot against this guy. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Okay, this would be a good time to actually keep the block pot because I can keep the buffer, but unfortunately, we lose buffer immediately because I didn't keep the block pot. Got echo form GG. That's fucking massive. Echo form makes more genetic scaling, which is really nice. Also get double loop, which is really nice. Double buffer. Oh my god. All right, boys. We have dark on loop, and we got everything we ever want. Is this a worthwhile uh, ancient pot? Probably, right? I can keep that for the heart, though, to be honest. I was just bad, I know, I know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do fission, though. I have so many buffers, it's fine. Dark Ops gonna win the game. We just gotta do genetic and we're done. I promise I have to do frost. So what I could do is get the other dark orb going. There we go. And now we can get that dark orb going. I haven't played genetic, have I? No, I haven't. Where's genetic? Where's genetic? Where's genetic? Our deck only blocks with frost. That's genetic. All right, let's go. GG. Let's just go now, right? It's not like GG. Pair, max HP, love it. So do we need static? Static doesn't do anything for us. I mean, I get, except we want card draw. The deck's done, isn't it? Static can be cool for the heart to deliberately take damage to get a lot of energy. I mean, to get a lot of uh, lightning. So we have to say, okay, I got to do damage now. Hit me in the face. Now I create a lot of uh, damage with my defrex. Uh, mind boom right here, please. Fuck. Ooh, time to lose zap, huh? No more zap. It right, looks like we're not getting Mount Boom. So Ormori is unfortunately doing nothing. Unfortunately doing nothing. Really good turn one though. Jesus Christ. I used all my energy. I love that. I 
Love that for me. Let's get all our cards out. That would be nice. Really? Nah, not the echo form. Not the echo form. Uh, we have genetic for this turn as well. This, this turn is great. This, this turn is great for us. I can do auto search genetic. I mean, I already full block as it is. I could do hologram on the Sunder, but I don't think I need to. I'm getting a lot of wounds though. I don't know if I want these wounds in my life. I gotta start doing damage to her. So the Dark Ops is going to be what I used to kill her, I guess. Hmm. I want more Doom and Gloom. It's pretty good. This is awkward though, because I want to kill with this thing, but I want the energy here. Okay. Not the hyper beam. Anything but the hyper beam. Alright, we got claw. We got claw scaling and we got dark up scaling. Good shape. We're in good shape. Okay. Perfect. It sucks that I'm nurturing dark up because dark up is like how I uh, I mean I use frost to do stuff, but it does give me bullseye. Into dark mode, which is really big. GG. Fairy in the bottle? Okay, we can hold that to the, the end of the game. Do we want another defrag or are we good? Three defrag pluses? I mean, we're kind of good on focus, aren't we? That makes the awakening a bit. Yeah, I mean. Then the problem is now I only have two frost, which is two cold snap. Now I kind of want more frost in my life, so I would want cool headeds. Taking more defrag is basically. I only have two frost in my life. Do you guys want more defrag, really? Fuck it. Bring the awakened one on. Uh, there's a lot. There's a big shop here, or I can go for the elites. I was gonna go for the shop if I had my moon, but I didn't. I'm not sure we needed all these. Oh, I need unceasing time is what I need. Look at this. Look at this. Energy. Jeez. I need card draw. I only take card draw. Please, only card draw. I'm begging for card draw here. More buffers. Five buffers, double buys, double loop. I guess Doom Gloom is my energy or my damage. I guess I need to get the cool sign belt though. Let's get the dark on loop and we're good. Kind of hard to get dark on loop here. There it is. GG. Recycle. Recycle short. Okay, that's my third frost. I want I want cool headed though. I wonder if I go for the shop because the shop has skims and cool headed. But we like relics though. We like relics way too much. We like relics way too much. But there goes freaking auto shields being a curse, ruining my buffer. Oh my god, auto shields. That's quite sad. Fine, we're, we're finally taking damage for the first time in our life. Holy shit. It's 
feels good to take damage. It's been forever since I've taken damage. Is this fight too hard for us? I don't think so. Just gotta get nurse the dark orb when we're good. Simple as that. Okay, well, minus one buffer. All right, and now we just gotta re wait till the dark orb goes back and we're good. Have we done our genetic yet? We have, right? Well. Love it. Look, look what the deck does with orb slots. Holy shit. The deck loves orb slots, doesn't it? Wow. Sometimes that bridge makes this deck go crazy. Really? I'm just trying to get rid of this freaking... There it is. Thank you. Bottle lightning. Okay. Motorcycle? No. I want card draw, please. Bottle lightning on what exactly? Turn one recycle bottle lightning or turn one reboot? I think turn one reboot is really good for turn... Uh, I think turn one reboot is really good. Alright. Recall now. We need card draw. I can always upgrade the reboot as well. All right, might as well. Chill. Ooh, we can play the music for energy and have energy for days. Or. Or we can recycle it. What's the point of having energy for days? It doesn't really go well with our plan. Wait, more reboots. Damn, so I still need skims and shit in my deck, man. Skims and cool head hits. Echo Farm's not even in my deck, I get that randomly. Oh, there's the auto shields that we actually know it's a curse. Sheesh. Now we have two curses in our deck. And the echo form that we desperately wanted was never really ours to begin with. Hmm. Dangerous. I can put the dark on loop or I can put the frost on loop. What's better? I think dark on loop is for, for damage, no? Dark on loop for damage. And we just go all out. Unless I'm pushing to Doom and Gloom again. I think getting dark on loop is really good and that just wins the game, no? So we need to get the bullseye. If we get the bullseye, then dark kills. We have two turns here. Bullseye's in the deck somewhere. Uh, I could go now with this, and that's probably enough damage to get lethal. Or I could just wait for bullseye as well. I could go now as well, because next, mm, I'll wait. Still have two turns. There's the bullseye, GG.
and actually played for once. And now we go for the kill. All right, I'll be right back. Been feeling good, uh, Vanier Freeze. Been feeling good. Do we like Flex or Blessing? I guess Flex has more potential for damage against the heart, right? Whereas Blessing could upgrade Buffer and Biased. And ball lane is damaged, but now I think we're kind of good. We, yeah, we've seen card draw. What does Blessing do more for us in terms of upgrading? I think the flex has more. Mind Bloom, finally. Oh, it's a shop. Okay, we got... Oh my god. This shop is what we've been wanting for. Holy shit. Shop has orb slots. This this is this is an OP relic. Runic Capacitor is free... For 173 gold, you can get three orb slots. Like, what the fuck? That's OP. Did they buff it recently, or was it always this strong? Holy shit. We can hold on potion belts, and now we have fair in the bottle for the rest of the game. We can do more frosts. We can even take capacitor. I know, it's always been OP, isn't it? It's really fantastic here. Um, I'm kind of thinking, what about amplify capacitor? And now we just have our power sorted. The thing is, I really like... Potion belt as well. I can get both. So we're gonna have all the orb slots in the world, and we're good. We don't even need amplified capacitor. You're right, we don't. But it would be sick, right, to have infinite power, infinite block. Oh, remove auto shields. Just remove auto shields, huh? But then, what am, what am I gonna recycle then if I remove auto shields? You guys want to take the artifact part or do you want to buy the glacier? I kind of like capacitor, guys. So eight orb slots is better than six. It makes it a little bit harder to maneuver the um, the dark orb, but we can play our cold temps willy nilly. And if we have the glacier as well with it, then we're good. But I'd rather have card draw as well, though, fuck. I'd rather have card draw as well. I think I need glacier for. You think I need glacier because now that I have the capacitor? We have three cold snaps though. We have three cold snaps. Three cold snaps. I need to draw a loop early because that's for the beat of death. We already recalled, so what should we upgrade? I should I could upgrade loop plus for the heart. Potion for the next act. Got the defrags. I could fission now just to get some uh, genetic. <laughs> Am I playing genetic right now? That's like a we need. We, what we need is calipers. The genetic is such a waste. So now we have orb slots, but nothing to play into them. So we can just start going crazy because dead branch also gives us orbs. Remember that dead branch also gives us random orbs. The calibers will be sick here. Alright, so we have all the, most of our orb powers in play. Okay. There goes our buffer. The dazes are kind of annoying. I think I actually want to stop the daze girl first. Now that I realize it, I think I want to stop the Daze Girl first. This could give me like cool headed and um, this can clog my deck like crazy, but it can give me cool headed and and holograms. I, I kind of like the deck first though. I realized. Not the echo form. So the fight's over. Okay, echo form. I do this. I. All right. GG. So we got a Shantana puzzle block finally. I got echo form. GG. So we can get all the cool stuff in the world. We start doing barrage stuff. I mean, this is GG. This is GG. I 
Echo Form makes this deck so good. It's crazy how good Echo Form is. More Frost. Recursion. All right, and now we just GG. We already played genetic, right? Yeah. All for one. All for one recycle is really fun. Love that. Rebound. I love how this deck works. It's gorgeous. Alrighty. This deck is fantastic, dude. Fucking love it. Alright. Got the defrag, got the loop. Let's get that out. Auto shields. Oh, there we go. We cut out Amplify, but let's do all our frosts. Now we know we have Amplify in the discard, which is great. It's gotten much faster, though. That's the thing. Okay, now I can recycle. They offer want to do all from recycle stuff. Hold on to fission, why not? Yeah, no, we th we thought about taking that. We thought about taking that. Um, should I skill? Should I wait for Echo from to skill genetic? We thought about taking that power called static discharge, but I think well now it's much better now we have orb slots. Yeah. All right, we got damage. I should just play bias because that damage is incredible. Okay, double weaken. We don't. We don't have echo form. I keep forgetting. I don't have echo form. Echo form is not in my deck. I know. I know. Now that we have it, it's different now. Now it's different. Exactly. Exactly. We can nurse a, a dark orb. Why not? Orb Slots makes this deck so much better though. It's ridiculous. And we always have a fairy bottle back up, back us up. I wanna see if I get Echo Form. Nah. And right, now we just press E to end turn and we get the Dark Orb uh, nurtured. GG. I can even do Amplified Bias. Amplified Bias and get the Dark Orb nice and ready. It's a little unnecessary maybe. A little unnecessary, but it makes the Dark Orb and the, the Lightning do a lot of damage. Alrighty, so the first couple turns are the hardest part by the heart. We gotta manage buffers and so for the heart we have to manage buffers and making sure we don't like let beat of death handle that. Which is why auto shots is okay for the beat of death. I'm taking loop. I'm hoping the loop can manage the buffers, but yeah, the heart's gonna be a little bit difficult in the first couple turns. First once we set up the game's over. So I upgrade reboot, it does draw six, which I think is pretty important. Now two turns of weakening is also really important because we can help me not die to multi attack. I think no, I think six crawls is most important. Let's go. And we can buy one potion. Okay, we got static discharge now. But is it good now? Not really. Let's do buy if I save some money. I think we have enough damage though. Once once the heart gets going, we have dark corpse and shit. I mean, for the lake, let's say, let's say lake might pop a whole bunch of bias and we just had to charge let the heart hit us. He would kill himself, basically. 
Is it Sakura's otherwise? Let's go. I can also get them from Dead Branch, it's fine. Alright. Got the defrag out. I kind of want to recycle because there's a lot of energy I'm wasting if I don't recycle, but I think getting Dark Up is pretty important for this fight. Very good. Holy shit. What a turn one. Unfortunately, our genetics are there, but what a turn one otherwise. Holy shit. Now, against the heart, that's dangerous because I can't necessarily. I can't necessarily just do all that without ruining the helix. Vision now? What about Electro? Uh, but the thing is, I want to get rid of this guy's freaking Spire Shield. It's going to ruin the Dark Orb. So Electro is really good, but it ruins the Dark Orb. Fuck. Electro is really good for this fight, though. I think running Dark Hope is too much to for me. I have dual cash right there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious right now, bro? I need card draw. Really? Because dual cash is right there. Alright, she's dual cash got me. We already played genetic, right? Genetic's been played? Oh, genetic has not been played. It's already skilled, who cares? Fight's over. Okay, man. We did not get skim or cool headed. The deck is lacking card draw, but it gets random shit from the ether. Okay, recursion can help me manage loop. Compile is card draw. War paint, let's go. Alright, boys, the biggest thing is. I like how. So here we're gonna have to get rid of our first helix, which is fine. To me, that's fine. To me, that's fine. Get rid of your first helix, no problem. I can't really prevent that. Um, and then I can get some tenant puzzle. I think we just have to reboot right away. Well, how does this work? This gives us Apicus, no? This gives us Apicus? Ooh, it preserves it. That's cheeky. But now we need block, which we don't have. We get the loop, which is really good for frost, if we get the frost out. Compile's great, yeah, compile's great. Tempest gives us a lot of lightning to get going, but I need to get my frost going on frost. Frost going on loop. I wanna play these. I could do fission. I can manage to see what I get first. Yeah, but the problem is I only I don't want I'm trying to preserve as much block as possible. I don't want to take too much beat of death. Fission and so you're saying just do Tempest Fission and then um draw more cards. How about defects where I can actually get damage for that? Or do you not care about the damage aspect? Okay. So we got a lot of our frost. We're gonna take a lot of damage here, but we get our powers out. That's what matters. Damn. I should have waited. Oh, I forgot Centennial. I just got rid of my freaking capacitor. Fuck, I forgot about Centennial there. Any card that says, any card that just says block for right now? Or I can just play all my shit and who cares? I don't know. Play all my shit, who cares, right? I think it's about my shit, who cares? We're using our HP as a resource. I 
Hab ich das nicht. Okay. Hagen wir bei euch hier. I think we just close up again. So we're gonna be vulnerable, but we have a lot of frost. Frost on loop. And we can draw into weaken as well. We have to draw the buffer, should have buffer, capacitor buffer done. Loop's gonna help me play cards though, which is fantastic. And now we should be able to manage the multi attack. Let's have your search. Not bad. Now we have damage. Now we have damage. Boom. Here in the battle, I got my back. We have damage now. We've Dark Nurture in the back. We also have all this freaking lightning damage is going off. It's fucking perfect. It's gorgeous. I could do. I could genetic now, or I could save it for the rest of the later on. But I could do it now as well. And we'll do flex spot for a big turn. Um, I could also get a core search and wait for flex spot core search. I could do it when I have barrage, barrage for damage cap for that turn. I'd rather do genetic on the multi attack because I think this guy's got my buffer got my back a little bit. I guess I might as well play it now though. I mean, I had block for days. Now I'm gonna start pushing damage. A lot of random reprograms. So we have Barrage here. For damage gap this turn. And Rainbow just to get rid of all of that. And now we're getting out of Frost Loop. And instead of replacing it with Lightning for damage. Which is dangerous. But I think we're pushing damage now. And we want to get the Dark Orb going. Unless you guys are saying Ball Lightning Bullseye. Which keeps the Frost on loop. Allows me to play cards without worrying. And now we do buys and end the fight, right? Buys and fight, G. Because we, we have fear in the bottle, so... We can never lose, I don't think. That the lightnings by themselves do damage. Apicus, let's go. Fairy was just there as a consolation prize. And defect is so fun when it gets when it starts popping off. I love this this capacitor is so good. GG GG GG.